What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add Spotify music to your live streams using OBS. Now something important to note about using music on live streams is it has to be non-copyrighted. So I do go over this in the video as well, and I'm also going to be showing you two ways how to achieve this. One where you can actually hear your music as you're playing, and another where you can have the music playing for the stream, but you won't be able to hear it. So it won't get in the way of your game audio and it won't get in the way of your microphone audio as well. So the first thing you'll need to download is something known as Snip. Now there will be a download link to this in the description and you'll be presented to this page. Now the one you want to download is this top one which is the zip folder. So just select it. Then for this you want to save it in a place where you're always going to remember it and it's important you do so because you're going to need to open this every time you want to live stream or use this effect. So I'm going to save it here on my desktop in a folder and this is what it looks like. I'm then going to open it and from here I'm just going to right click that folder and select extract here. Once you've extracted it you're going to get another folder called snip. Just open that up and then the application called snip. Now when you open this up you'll see two other files will appear. The artwork and a snip a text document. So we're pretty much done with snip for now. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and open up Spotify. So of course you'll need some non-copyrighted music when uh, using some music in your live streams and so I've just got this up here and the way you find this just type in no cop and you can see no copyright sound they have a playlist here with a bunch of songs. So it is currently playing I have just muted the audio so you can still hear me and we're pretty much done from Spotify as well. The next thing we need to head over to OBS and from here you want to select the scene where you want to add the music onto. From there you want to head over to the sources tab, select the plus button and from here you want to add text GDI plus. So select this, call this whatever you want to, I will call this music, then just select OK. Now this is where you can customize how this will look. Now before we do anything else just select read from file, then where it says text file we're going to select browse. So head over to that same folder where you downloaded snip and then go to snip and then you'll see that text document for snip is useful. So it's this one right here, just double click it. So as you can see straight away it has picked it up. This is the title and if we head over to Spotify to confirm that and there you go, you can see it is correct. So that's how it's currently looking. Um, but as you can see you can customize it. So for example the font, you can select a font directly from here and all the fonts you have downloaded on your computer in the past will appear here. For example, this one here, it's a nice font. I'm going to use this and I'll bring the size down. I'm going to select OK. You can see it's changed and then what I'm going to do, keep the opacity the same. You can have a gradient if you would like. I'm going to put a background color so we can see our text a lot easier. So you can see at the top left it is also showing. We will be making this bigger later on. You can choose the alignment, however we can just move that around after, but you can pick it all from here. Then you can add some uh, outline onto the text. Again, this is completely optional, you don't have to if you don't want to. And I am not going to, so I'm going to leave it without one. And once I am happy with everything on my text, all I need to do is select OK. Now, text is done, so like I said, you can just click and drag it around. And I will keep it at the top left and enlarge it just like this. So this is how it's going to look at the moment. It's pretty boring, meaning the text is there, but it's just not moving. So to make it scroll is also very simple. So come back to the sources tab and remember this is called music. And all we're going to do is select right click, select filters. And from here you want to select plus and then you want to select scroll. From here you can call this scroll, select OK. Then this is all it is. So you choose the horizontal speed. As you can see, I've set mine to 15 and this is how it is going to move. So once you're happy with the way it looks, all you need to do is select close. And as you can see, just like that, the text is now complete and I'm going to open up Spotify and I'll just bring this to the other monitor and I'll go to the next song. So it's been clicked and you can see it has been changed instantly. So just like that, the music has changed and it's still scrolling the text. 
So of course there's one last thing to do and that is how to actually have the audio playing in OBS. So to do this it is very simple. First of all we're going to head back over to Spotify and I'm going to unmute the audio. Now you won't be able to hear the audio yourself. The reason being is because the audio is currently coming through my earphones so you can still hear me talk. But where it says desktop audio what you want to do is make sure it is unmuted. Now as you can see there are new waveforms appearing and this is where the audio from Spotify is playing. Now, if you want to be able to hear your music while you're live streaming, then you are completed. All you need to do is turn down the audio for the music to make sure your audience can still hear you talk. So if you have your earphones in right now, you're going to be able to hear the music and you're going to be able to talk and the stream itself will be able to hear the music and you at the same time. If you don't want to hear the music, then just stay along and we need to go ahead and download something. So you're going to head over to the description again and you're going to download something known as Audio Router. So scroll down and as you'll see it supports 64-bit and 32-bit. Now I'm on a 64-bit and most people nowadays will be. Just select it and download it to that same folder. You can see I've already got it. I'll just overwrite it. Then just open up that folder. This is what it'll look like and you want to run the exe file. So just double click it, select the yes. This is how it will look. Now Spotify is currently playing through your earphones. All you need to do is select this arrow next to Spotify and select root. From here you're going to be changing where it roots to. So you can see LG IPS 4HD is my second monitor. Then I also have headphones on my microphone because there is an input for my microphone to hear audio through it. Now my second monitor doesn't actually have speakers, but it is appearing here so I can just select this and select OK. Now Spotify has gone over to this side and it's telling me that Spotify music is coming out of this speaker. So I'll bump that all the way up, bump this all the way up, and you can see that is now completed. Now important to note, you cannot X out of this program, you just have to minimize it. Then from here we can head back over to OBS and you'll notice you can see desktop audio is completely muted. Now the good thing about this if you also are playing games on live stream then this desktop audio will be for the gameplay. Now heading over to the settings on OBS you want to go over to audio. From audio you'll see desktop audio device 2. From disabled you're going to select it and you're going to select the speakers you selected. So I select my second monitor I'm going to select that and select apply and OK. Straight away you can see where it says desktop audio 2, the uh, volume is straight up because that is where the music is now playing onto my second monitor. Now important to note, although you cannot hear this audio, the live stream themselves, they'll be able to hear everything. Same if you're going to be using OBS to record videos, then this audio will be picked up even though if you can't hear it. So just to run through very quickly what we now have in the mixer section. The desktop audio will be used for your gameplay if you have any. The mic and aux, pretty self-explanatory, your microphone. Desktop audio 2 will be for your music playing via Spotify. Now there is one last thing I'm going to show you and that is how to change the way the output of the text is. So head over to your taskbar and right click this and then you want to go and set output format. So you can see you can set the track format, the separator, the artist format and album. Now I believe uh, Spotify doesn't have albums just yet so I don't really need that so by default it's not going to show up anyway but if you are playing through something else then of course you can choose if you want it on or off. If you don't just highlight it and X out it like that. So then getting on to editing it. If you want to change the way it looks for example we can take out uh, the quotation marks. I'll select save and you can see just like that it has changed so then quotation marks have now gone. So I'm going to go back, right click, set output format and you can choose what you want to. So you can maybe put, I'll just put CS for example, refresh it and you can see CS comes at the end. Now I know it doesn't look good, but that is just an example and of course you guys can be creative as much as you would like to. So that is it, that is the way it looks, that's how you can add Spotify music to OBS. But that's it for this tutorial, hopefully it has helped you. As always, remember to subscribe, turn notifications on, and like the video.